Hey guys, Pasco Villana here uh, from the Goalie's Edge, and I, I really wanted to talk a little bit about the four things that a goaltender needs to control. And one of them is the net. And the net always starts to move with that player as he starts to skate around the ice. So you can see the net at, at its biggest when it's between the circles, and obviously it gets smaller and smaller the closer we get to the goal line. That same aspect happens here, and I just want to show you how big the net is. So as that player comes around, he's scanning and looking up the ice, he or she comes up this line and then lines up to shoot the puck. Look at how big the net space is, if you really think about this. If the shot is taken, the puck is traveling through these two lines. That's how big the net is, okay? When you look at the size of that net in comparison to how big this is, and I'll show you with my size eight skate, it's a pretty small area for you to really cover. So as a goaltender is, you know, looking at this net space and trying to control things, as that player starts to come up and locks into that line, that goaltender steps in. Now, these two pucks that mark out the ice surface, well, they're not going to be there, at least during the game. But what is going to be there are your skates. And your skates are always going to be probably a little bit wider than, than uh, in this zone two position. But say for me, you can see that my skates are lined up and they're still a little bit wider than the size of the net. So keep in mind that when that player goes to shoot the puck, your set feet with that puck in the middle of your body is going to be the key critical point of how big the net is. And you're going to be utilizing that space in your stance position. And all you're going to be doing is dropping into areas that you don't actually cover. The areas that you don't cover are so minimal, as you can see here in the picture of, uh, of a goaltender here. So when you're looking at the net uh, just behind this goaltender, you're seeing actually it looks quite small. The areas besides the gloves are very, very tiny. And then of course the five hole is exposed in that particular area. All we need to do is get to the areas we don't cover. We don't need to launch towards anything else. So controlling four things, the puck, the player, the net, and of course the goaltender is key critical to success in maintaining a strong stance.